going on guys, Kaivox here, and we're gonna do something a little bit uh, a little bit different today. Um, I'm gonna try to make a video and try to do something, and I don't know if it's gonna work. So even if I fail, I'm still gonna put this video up. So it's gonna be, really, to be honest with you, you and I both don't know if this is gonna be wor working out. And if you guys noticed by the title of the, uh, of the video, it's, it, we're, we're gonna be making a wand box today. Um, I haven't made one of these um, paper wand boxes in a while. This is the design for the box, you know, just a white box. Uh, it's the slide shoe style, I would say, uh, where it slides into itself. We got the uh, wand on the inside there. Uh, you don't have to do something like this. I just like to add in a little bit of uh, a little bit of character, you know, a little bit of uh, some customization in there a little bit. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna attempt to make one of these. You're obviously gonna have to decide like what type of box you wanna make. Um, I've seen people make these with cardboard um, paper, just like heavy card stock and just simply just cut it out. I don't like that because I try to make them look as much like the, like a real wand box. Something like this, right? So we have, it's basically what it, basically what it is is um, a really thin piece of um, chipboard, which is like almost like a cardboard but minus all the holes inside. You know when you look at the edge of, of, a, of a piece of cardboard, it has the holes in it? It's kind of like that, but it's a solid piece of board, basically. Um, and then it's just wrapped in some sort of paper or some sort of uh, like cover paper. Um, I'm gonna be using a, I forgot what kind of paper, like a linen paper, I believe, is what I'm using. So it has this pattern on it. You guys can't probably see it, but it has like a hash, hash mark, like hashtag all over it, you know, you know what I'm talking about, you guys know what I'm talking about. This is the chipboard, like I was saying, it's basically just cardboard, it's really thin, there's two here as well. Um, I already have half of it made from one that I made a while ago. I believe this is actually the top half, um, and we're gonna make the bottom half now. All right, I got it. So at this point, you have a few options. You can use scissors to cut everything out, you can use an X-Acto knife, some sort of blade, um, you can use one of these guys, which is a, uh, a cutter, right? So you stick the paper in there and you go shink, shink. So if you don't have one of these, obviously I would recommend using some scissors or something. Um, I'll put a link to this stuff in the description. If you guys are interested in that, just go in. This isn't cheap. Um, it's like a hundred and something bucks for one of these. But I would say if you're like a crafty person, you kind of need it, right? It's kind of like just something that you're gonna you're gonna want to have. So I recommend everybody getting one of those. I don't use mine often because I'm not making cards and stuff like that, but occasionally I do. And therefore, it's good to have. That being said, right? I, I have that. I have a knife. I have scissors, but I also have a laser. So we're gonna be cutting this out on the laser, minus the paper part. The paper I'm gonna just cut with scissors or an exacto or something like that. So um, just because it's gonna be too much work to make the pattern to cut it out. So, all right, let's just get you off of here. Yeah. All right, let's go look at what, let's go look at what, uh, what we're gonna make today. So this is basically uh, what we're gonna be cutting out. We have the top of the box, the side, the other side, and then the two other sides. It's super simple, right? Um, I'm trying to keep this video as casual as possible. Ooh, by the way, have you guys seen the new addition to the uh, to the to the family, we got a we got a, a little cacti over here. I don't know what his name is gonna be. He's a guy. He's a guy cac cactus. Um, just because I said so, not for any real reason. Um, I was thinking something like Dobby. He looks like a Dobby, right? His name is Dobby from now on. Hello, Dobby. Welcome to the family. You're gonna live right here. Hopefully now you guys understand why I don't always have this thing running in the background. Um, it's super noisy and this isn't even like a quarter of how, how actually loud it gets. Um, this is just like it sitting idle. It's like when your car is just an idle um, and then it just starts making a ton of noise after it's running, right? If you have a really crappy car. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this piece of paper in there. I don't know if I should put it this way or this way, which way would, uh, would actually work better. I think I'm gonna go with the cardboard side down. Um, I actually bought a white one so that I could keep this on the inside so that it's less noticeable. Yeah, so we're gonna put this one on the, 
I'm gonna put this guy in there. So I had the idea to use some magnets to hold down the uh, the paper so it doesn't blow away because this thing creates like such a crazy vacuum when it's running to get all of the uh, the smoke out. Um, and I'm talking weird right now because there's some like residual smoke in here and I can't breathe and I'm trying to talk all of this without really breathing that much. So hopefully by putting these magnets in there, I'm not gonna um, mess any of the sensors up. I think that's pretty good. All right, so now if we jump over to the Glowforge uh, user interface over here, you can see we already have our file uploaded right here um, and it's, it's this little guy right here. So all we have to do is position it where we want it positioned. I'm gonna try to go up here as high as possible or maybe I should go down here. I don't know. And I'm not even sure what the settings that we're gonna use is gonna be. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to make up our own cutting parameters. I just gotta hit this guy and see what happens. Nope. So that didn't work at all. So um, I revamped the thing. I turned down the speed and up the power a little bit. So um, we'll try that again and, and hopefully it works. So it does look like that did pretty good. Cut through it. Uh, I'm gonna flip the paper over to the white side up because it looks like I'm getting some scorching around here, but I didn't get any on the top. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so you should be able to see a little bit of like yellow on the side here. That's a disadvantage of using the lasers that you're, you are gonna get a little bit of like the scorch marks on there. But this is a lot faster than trying to cut it all out of paper and get these measurements perfectly. Um, so I'm hoping that this works out and everything fits together well. First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna test to see if this fits in here. And I think we're gonna be good. I think this is gonna work out. Maybe not. Or was this the top? So this is why that saying exists, um, measure twice, cut once. Here's what happened. I thought, I just assumed, right? I just, I just, I just assumed. And you know what they say about assuming. Right, so assuming, you sh you're not supposed to assume. You know, whatever. I thought that that um, half box that I had was a good box and the measurements were right. The reason I still have it is because it's not. When I made it by hand, I made some mistakes and it was the wrong size. So now I gotta make the other half of the box. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go cut that out. And while that happens, um, I'm gonna start doing the next step. Um, I, we're gonna need the table. We're gonna have to tape some stuff up. I'll show you guys what you're gonna need. Well, this guy's gonna print. We're gonna go do that. So let's get, let's get to going. So um, here's what we gotta do. Now that we're all situated, make sure that your work surface is like as clean as possible because if it's not, you're gonna have some issues. Um, especially if you're trying to make a box that's white, like the one that I'm gonna be making, anything that gets on this will 100% ruin the box. And I've had to start from scratch just because I got a little bit of something on there and I didn't know what it was and it sucked. Make sure that your work surface is, is pretty clean. Uh, at least you don't have any debris that's gonna get stuck to this. Sorry about the background noise, guys. Remember, laser is going off right now. It's not actually on. We need tape. Come on, tape. Found it. I'll put a link down below if you guys wanna pick up some of this. So here's what's cool about this tape. One, it's extremely thin. Two, it's double-sided. So what happens is I, was, I usually use a, a knife for this because I can never peel this off. So it's super thin. So I basically use it as like a glue almost, but you can see it's super thin, it's double-sided. Um, it sticks fairly well. And uh, that's how we're gonna adhere the outside of the box to the cardboard. For now, for now, that's all we're gonna need. We're just basically gonna be taking all of these and applying tape to most of them. I usually like to do it all the way around the edges. Um, this is the most time consuming part of it. It just sucks doing this. If you have somebody to help you, it'll, it would be so much better. Um, I have to be careful with this because it's, it has some pretty black little strips right there that's gonna, because of the burning. So wish me luck and we're, we'll, I'll see you with the next at the next step. Let's let's do this first. Okay. Okay.
now that we have um, all of these stuck on, I forgot a piece. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Jeez. Okay, back to what I was saying. Um, now that we have all of the all of these ready to be taped on, um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna need two big sheets of this because I don't think I could do it with one. Um, I need my cutting board. I don't know where that is. We're only we've only done half of the taping so far, and we actually even haven't even done that because we haven't even peeled off all the plasticky backing to the tape. It's the biggest pain in the butt is to do that. Um, there are other alternatives. You can use glue. I just feel like the tape is less messy, keeps it, keeps everything kind of, it just, it works for me. Right now, instead of making a box, I could be making a wand, and that's why I tend to not make a lot of boxes. And the boxes that I do make actually take about just as long as this, um, but I feel like they're a little bit better because they're actually made out of wood, um, and they got some engravings on there. I just, I feel, I feel like they're a little, a little bit better. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, so. Found the cutting board. Um, gotta wipe it off though, it's a little dirty. I don't wanna, like I said before, I do not wanna dirty the actual paper because that's gonna ruin everything. And then we're really gonna have to start all over. And I already did too much work. And if I start all over, I'm basically not gonna start all over is the gist of it. So let's wipe this off. While I was, uh, I was getting my cutting board, I also found a coffee and one of these guys. So, uh, that's happening now. Man, this coffee's good. Now that that's out of the way, we can go back to uh, what we were doing. I'm like sweating now. I shouldn't have had a coffee. Probably shouldn't have had a coffee. Probably not the best idea. So now that we laid this out, what we're gonna do is, first of all, figure out which one was which, which was the top and which one was the bottom because you really don't want to stick these, um, <laughs> you don't want to put these on the wrong way because that would truly, truly suck. So now that you have all four or five pieces together, so this is what we got. Boom, boom, a boom, a boom, boom. Okay, so you're pretty much limited on the size of the box that you can make. You don't want to go too crazy because what ends up happening is you run out of paper over here. And what we need this paper for is to flip it over. So these are actually all going to go like this. So obviously this is gonna be the inside of the box and the other side is the outside of the box. So let's just double check to make sure that the other side isn't too uh, messed up. All right, it looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay all these out the way that they're gonna go on and try to center it as best as possible. You don't want, you know, no space on this side because like I said, we're going to fold this over. So, it's roughly where it's going to go. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. I know it's white on white, but we're going to actually start off with the center. Probably the best, best bet. So now, here we go. All of this, we're going to have to uh, peel all this off. Here we go. Ooh, too much coffee. Um, I actually use a roller to make sure that everything is applied properly on this. So I'm gonna go get that, I'll be right back. Here it is. Um, so basically this is, I believe, just a four inch roller. And um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to really get in there without like kind of messing up our hands and or rubbing a bunch of other dirty stuff on it. Here's what we're gonna do. Just roll that on there. Make sure that it's nice and applied all the way through. So now, uh, here's the trick that you're gonna have to do. You need to make sure that you have enough space in between these so that the paper could actually fold over. What I like to do is I like to actually take the, um, one of these, because basically the thickness of this is roughly what you're gonna need, um, and actually put it in between so that you, when you push it up against it, it doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't mess it up. I don't know if that's the right size that we need though. You guys are gonna see me doing this a lot for the next couple minutes. It's not super important for this line to be perfectly straight, but it doesn't hurt if it is nice and straight, that is. 
I'm not doing the best of jobs because I'm just trying to get this done as quick as possible. So that's pretty much that. Um, now we just have to figure out how we are going to um, fold this. So based on that, um, you need to figure out how the, uh, the seams are gonna be, what kind of seams you're gonna have. Um, you never wanna go all the way to the edge, but basically what I do is I just uh, roughly draw a line from the middle there, from the middle there, I go to each corner and do that. So from here, we're gonna decide how much we're gonna wanna fold this over. We're gonna just fold it across this way, right about there. Okay, so now we're left with this. I don't know, I think I may have to cut some of this off. Guys, I think an inch and a half was too far to go. I'm probably gonna just take off about Let's just say about a half an inch, quarter inch. All right, so now that we have um, one half of it basically ready for the second tape up, um, we're gonna do that first, all right? We're gonna tape it up, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put tape basically all the way around the edges. We don't have to go crazy on the inside, just around the edges. Um, both edges, if you're talking about here, um, you wanna go basically around this triangle because that's gonna get folded in and it needs to, um, it, needs to be, it needs to work. So you need to do that. So I'm gonna do that and spend a ton of time on that. Next, you're gonna need something like this. So this is a uh, like a bone folder, I believe it's called, or bone something, I don't know. Again, I'll put a link down below to this guy. Um, and basically what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna just push down, put a little bit of pressure right around the edge just to get a nice imprint there. So when we fold it, we get a nice fold, a nice one. So now we have to take off all of this crap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off here by folding this guy over. I like to use this. Just gonna push that guy on there. Okay. Now we're gonna Fold this guy over. Same thing here. All right, so here's the tricky part, right? Um, as you can see, I, this, is, this is what I left. Um, I left the two corners on each of the side, like the long sides. Um, the reason I did that is because these are actually what's gonna hold the, um, the outside together. So you can make the, this seam either on this side or you could make it on the long side. I prefer it on the, corn, the shorter sides, I guess you could call it. Um, and now what you're gonna wanna do is obviously you're gonna take your bone thing just to help it fold like this. Um, and we're just gonna fold that over and it's gonna stick together. We hope. And the same thing for this side. We're just gonna fold that over. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the opposite side. Fold this down, pinch it together, and then fold it over. So there you have it. We got um, half of a box, basically, right now. So now all we need to do is go and make the other half and we'll have a complete box. I don't know what's going on with this over here, but uh, this is me now. Definitely running out of time and I need to go and get some wands done this week. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope uh, it was it was a little bit more on the um, 
on the kind of casual side. You know, it wasn't as much planning. Um, I made a couple mistakes, and hopefully you guys appreciate how tough these boxes are to make. Um, the other option would be to buy a bunch, but that costs thousands of dollars, and then I'd have to stock a ton of boxes. So um, hopefully you guys try to make your own. There's different ways to make it. I know I didn't give you guys any numbers. There are other videos out there on how to make boxes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys check out some more stuff. I'm gonna go work on some wands. Remember to come back for a new wands day every wands day, Wednesday. I hope this was slightly educational. Bye, bye, bye.